Drama Azak Oda's wife declares self obedient as after a drum support for Tenembo. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Ungozi Oji, the wife of Zak Oji, has declared a support for Liberal Party presidential candidate P2B as after a video of her husband endorsing the all progressive Congress presidential candidate Bola Tenembo went viral. The actress endured would be in an Instagram post on Sunday after the later visited the Revival Church Assembly headed by Apostle Anselm Madubuko. Madubuko. In the caption of the video she posted, Ngozi Oji declared herself obedient, a title associated with supporters of the Anambra State Governor. Sharing a video and photos of P2B at the church service, Ngozi wrote, it was an awesome time today. That moment, our Apostle General Anselm Madubuko introduced His Excellency Sapitobi. What an awesome way to wrap up Azusa 20 conference. God bless you, sir, for coming. We are obedient. We move. In his campaign video, Zach Oje said he believes Tinubu will transform Nigerian's economy. The movie star said Tinubu ran an all inclusive government in his time as governor of Lagos State. Zach Oji and Ngozi Oji have three children together. Well, um, if you ask me, there is nothing wrong in a member of the family supporting one, another member supporting another. There's nothing wrong. They have this is why I say, even if you choose to support any candidate, now one vote to get, even your family members, <laughs> they might not follow you to support who you're supporting. They all have their own choice to make, just like as you have, have your own choice to make. That the man of the house no follow for that one no. at all, at all. You know, follow. Everybody have their own choice to make, and that was just that is what just happened there. And of course, this does not now mean that they have problems. <laughs> okay, what makes him a confused person? I have said it time without numbers. The greatest threat to Peter B's presidency is people like you who are bent on attacking anyone who doesn't support your candidate. If any woman shows support to another candidate, he or she suddenly becomes the enemy of the Igbos. It seems many of you did not learn anything. It is the ethnic sentiment that was portrayed in 1966 that put the Igbo where they are today. And you still haven't learned. Allow people to support whoever they want. If everybody follow the ethnic ways, you will be the loser and it will become very difficult for the average Igbo man to be president. You will destroy P2B presidency. Shalom. Okay. Okay, whoever you are, you have hit the nail on the head. We should stop being tribalistic. If not, what is the difference between us and the other people? Abi? Okay. Zakadi will soon be obedient if the wife refuses to answer him well. <laughs> on the other side, he will have no option than to be obedient in order to enjoy the fruit. I beg me, gonna leave me now. Nobody should come and spoil me here. I don't know what people are saying. Okay. Everyone has the right to support whoever he feels that can transform the country. Exactly. Even if in a family now, there is what I call identical twins. One of them decides to support any um, different, different candidates. It's not a problem. It does not now mean that they are enemies. <laughs> it does not mean they are enemies. At the end of the day, everybody, they pray for better Nigeria. Abi. Uh -huh. So, uh, it does not mean we're enemies. We are all victims in this one. Let us not forget. It is not about ethnic or religion. Let us allow everyone to follow his or her heart. True. And Ibu, why are we like this? We have been clamoring for Ibu presidency that it is our turn. Now we have our own. Why not support him? They have the right not to support him, my dear. They have every right not to support him. You see, eh, like I will always say, everyone cannot have the same opinion. That is why we are all different. Not be everyone could get the same opinion at all. What you will call good, somebody will come and call it bad. Even when it is claimed that it is good. You understand? So, they can actually support whomever they want to support. Planned deal. It will not work for the two of you. But it works. So, if Tinobu wins it, it will be a goal for both of you. Through Zach Oji, and if Peter B wins, it will still be a goal for both of you to free your wife. Why your people? Both of you better become obedient or nothing for not at all. 
like I said earlier on, they have the right to support whomever they want to support. Well, this is democracy. Of course, they can have different candidates. On the other hand, at least one of them, they wind their candidates. <laughs> Bola Ahmed Tinebu Obida TV Gadadi. As for me and my household, we will be obediently useful. Well, let me say this so for the opt-in time that um, both of these people have made their choices. Whether they not deceive others, as some people, some people claim more, whether they not they deceive or whether they do, the more you look, the less you. It don't concern us, but they don't come and say, I can't say, see who they vote for. And it does not mean that they're having problems in their home. You understand? It does not mean that they're having any problems in their home. This is just election. Like I said, this election period goes on, come and go, but uh, so many things where we go do. You know, go come and go. So make we deal very, very wise in our dealings during this election period. Okay, that is the beauty of democracy. Democracy is a game of choice. Whereas for me, I remain obedient. Exactly. Democracy is a game of choice. It's a game of choice. Papa, we even get, let's say, for instance, you have children and one of them is 18, one is 20, one is 22. Uncle, you know, get right to tell them who go vote for. If they said I don't go vote for your candidates, you cannot, if you force them, you don't even, you don't even commit offense. You understand? Good. Okay. Ladies first is welcome. Ladies first is welcome to the obedient family. They're meant for this thereafter. Thank you. Remember your PVC vote obediently. <laughs> okay. Wife abandon her husband and follow who no road. Your greed will soon ruin you, Zach Oji. Haba. Haba. <laughs> Tunibu will run an inclusive government and Obi will run only full and dominated government like Buhari APC. They did not say that to now. You use the hand in talking like that. Please can we learn from our candidate PTOB? He has never for once used a single foul language against his critics. My dear, I talked to that man too good. Kaya. That man too good. Sincerely, even there are times when you see him being proved. Uh, me, if, if even me read the read themselves, I would say, ah, uh -uh. uh, which kind of question is this? Uh, this people playing. But he will never come out and use foul language. Or never will he come and, um, how my, you will not see this in his body language. Thank you. Ha, ah, you, 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 true, not true, you talk. Same with that, who carefully chooses his words. Please, we are in a free world. Where anyone has the same right, you have. And so, no more bad languages. I am just obediently obedient. Okay, oh. Nigerians, come to the free God keeping us all alive. Make we vote for the right person. Not because of tribe, not because of religion, but who is going to turn the fortune of Nigerians around for the better. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. And until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.